G'day, this is Rodney, that's Tom behind the camera. In this one, I'm gonna review trimming a hedge. Rodney reviews, Rodney reviews things, now. Trimming a hedge is a humbling experience, like meditation, astrology, or compilation. As you can see here, we've got a mailbox, and you can't have the, the hedge all around the mailbox, because a male person won't be able to put the mail into the slot there be too much bush. Just leave that one there. And if you do have a compost, it's always nice to put all the leaves of the hedge into the compost afterwards. So it degrades into your compost and releases nitrogen. You can also urinate on your plants, that also gives it nitrogen. This plant is a, just put that up there Tom, whatever plant that is if you can. That's such a beautiful relaxing sound. Once you snip away the hedges, it's such a relaxing soothing sound isn't it? It's just marvellous. Lovely, lovely isn't it? What does it remind you of Rodney? Reminds me of the summer, Time. You can even make some kind of artwork out of it. Take the leaves off, spray it on with a bit of resin. Make a hedge on the canvas with the leaves that you have. Then glue and maybe using a bit of colour. Green on red could be the colours of your favourite football team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Also have to be careful just to tr not to trim any insects or mollusks. I never go, we have a snail there, so also be careful not to hurt any of the native creatures that are living in one your hedge. And as you can see there, the snail has shat. Hopefully I didn't scare it and didn't shit itself for me scaring it. I'm sorry little snail, if I scared you so you shat. Snail, oh, very sorry, but I'm trimming around, it won't be affecting your home anymore. It might be a bit of a smaller home, but it's just to be cleaned up a bit. Nice that I have a neat area. A neat area is a neat mind, snail. Okay, so let's trim some more. Lovely sound it makes, isn't it? The way the leaves fall as well. Not only is there the clipping of the leaves, but the, when the leaves fall, that sound is just lovely. Not that sound, this sound. Okay, so I've just managed to get myself a milk crate, just to give me a bit of a boost, so I can trim the top of the edge there. Okay, just trim around the top there. Give it a bit of a flat top, I say. Do you remember the flat top hairdo? Uh, a bit before my time, Rodney. I wonder what it would look like if I had a flat top hairdo. Tom, could you do some graphic images of me with a flat top hairdo? Sure, Rodney. Thanks, Tom. Always just uh, remember to breathe in, in deep, in through the nose, out through the mouth. When you are trimming the hedges, you don't want to be short of breath. You don't want to collapse, especially when you're standing on a ladder or when you're standing on a milk crate. I'll just go over to the other side now. It might seem like an endless battle, but just hang in there and you'll eventually get to the end and you just see the lovely look of the hedge and think, wow, what a great job we've done. You don't want to be too secateurly happy. Don't overdo it, just like any other haircut, or even if you reverse parking. Don't overdo the reverse parking. Just reverse park in and get out. You don't need to tell all your friends and family how great you reverse parked. Just reverse park out of the car. You don't need to repeat what you did. You don't want to boast and say you're the greatest reverse in parker ever. Because some people just don't want to hear it. Especially at Christmas time at lunch. Ah, trimming a hedge is such a lovely experience, isn't it? The thing is about trimming a hedge, you can trim it to just about anything you want to trim it to. You can trim it to the Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, the Sydney Opera House, or what I've done, the Three Sisters, Katoomba. I'll give trimming a hedge four stars. I'll see you later. Rodney reviewed, Rodney reviewed that, then